All right, Shalom. All praise and glory and honor goes to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaqwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect. This uh, Brother Tazai one comes with another uh, GMS ATL in transit. And uh, I just want to speak on, you know, brothers in this truth, you know, how we have this word and we have this knowledge and this wisdom and this understanding to uh, speak this word and understand this word. But we also have a responsibility to teach this word. Okay? It's our responsibility to teach the truth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now, the scripture says that uh, that this truth was a gift. Okay? And when you go into the, uh, the book of Ephesians 2 and 8, it talks about this faith that we have which is, you know, the faith in the word of the Lord, how it's a gift, man, you know? It's been given to us by Yahweh Bashan as a uh, as a uh, as, as a gift, but also it's a responsibility. Okay? We have a responsibility to teach this truth. Okay? Um I had previously did a lesson this week with one of the brothers in the camp and we talked about how uh, this word that we teach and the fact that we can teach this truth and the the level of, of, of power it has by just speaking the word that's a level of spiritual power so there's power in the truth there's power in the words and the scriptures and the prophecies Okay, and with that power comes great responsibility, and it's our responsibility to teach this word. Okay, because we've been given a certain amount of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to give out to the rest of the elect. Okay, now this was something that was uh, told to the disciples by Yahweh Shai when he gathered the twelve. We go into Matthew the tenth chapter. He told them to to uh. To go out and preach the word. Okay. They told him to go out and preach the word. Alright. And that's our job. Our job is to go out here. Preach the word. Preach the truth. And bring in the elect. Okay. And that's our duty. Okay. You know, our duty is to go out here, preach the word to the elect, make sure that, uh, that, uh, you know, we're teaching the right doctrine and that we have th this, the right understanding. Okay. To bring in more fruit. Okay. Paul talked about it being a necessity laid upon him. All right. With this gospel and that same that same necessity to teach the gospel that's laid upon us. All right. Yahweh Shai sent the disciples out in the Great Commission to bring to to bring in the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and from that time forth, all the way up until today, we have that same responsibility. You know, this word is getting to Esau because you know he's constantly taking down YouTube pages and constantly. Um, He's constantly, uh, you know, harassing brothers and, and, and you know, um, you know, giving brothers strikes and, you know, a community strikes and the paid is trying to take them down. But we still have to push this word. We still have to push this truth out. You know, it's not something, you know, to be taken lightly. And that's what a lot of these guys and these other camps and their leaders do. They take the word lightly, but they agree. A great millstone is it's our responsibility to propagate the word of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Okay? The scripture says that uh 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 um Paul said that he he uh 
He watereth, okay? But the Most High giveth the increase. So that's what we do. We push the word out there. We teach the word. And we water, so to speak, the people. But it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that giveth the increase to bring in uh, uh, um, the men, okay? The laborers, okay? Another thing, too, Yahweh Shai told us to pray that labor is coming to the harvest, okay? Because it's few, all right? And we have to bring in many men, okay? The 144,000 are being gathered. The house of David is being gathered. The elect and the one-third is being gathered, all right? Because it's with this word, it's with this truth that we're going to take over the world, okay? The Israelites are going to regain their kingdom, okay? But first, we have to tell our people about the kingdom. Now, what I said, go preach to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which would, would uh, uh, boil down to the elect. Preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's our job, to preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For who? Not for all nations. Okay, the so-called white man, which is Esau, is not going to make it. These heathen are going to make it. Just Israelites. Okay. The kingdom of heaven is for the uh, sons of Israel, all right? The children of Israel. And we teach that. And we push that. And we prophesy. And the prophecies are coming to pass. 2018, through the Spirit, is the year of prophecy. So we have to make sure that we're, we're, we're pushing out prophecies and teaching things that, that are edifying for the uh, elect chosen, uh, the Lord's elect and chosen to come in, you know. We have a great responsibility here. We can't take it lightly. All right? So let's keep pushing. Let's keep uh going forward. Do what we have to do in order for Yahweh Bashan was shot to bring the kingdom. Okay? Which he will bring the kingdom. But it's our job and our duty to uh uh, uh push in our capacity as men of the Lord and prophets. All right? So with that, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom.